Hey, what's up? It's been a minute. Ugh. Woo! Hold on. I'm stretching. Ah. Ow. <sighs> ah. Okay, that's that's that. So, uh, what do we do here? Um, well, it's the end of the year. It's been a it's been a year. It's been a good year, full of uh, highs and lows. And uh, as per usual, myself is just self-inserting in video games at the moment. So basically, what we're doing here is just doing a good old tier list with the with all the games I've. Uh, I've played this year and honestly I'm tempted to do a numerical more than a more than a how to say I'm tempted to do a numerical more than more than an alphabetical one because I don't know how actually the letters work but I'm guessing this is just a order from worst to best so yeah I, I don't know <laughs> I'm doing it with the uh, with the letters. If I feel like I need another tier, which looking at some of the games here, I might not need some of these tiers that are already in here. So yeah. Uh, anyhow, I'm hydrating first. I wanted to do a little longer for the entry screen, but you know what? I said fuck it. We ball, and we're here. Oh, yeah it's been a year like it's been a very eventful 2023 with a lot of things happening here and there I'm fortunate fortunate enough to uh, you know uh, be part of the things that happened on this year and some and some things that happened to me personally that I I'm absolutely happy they happened like holy shit you're, you're, you guys, you, you guys, you guys are talking to a college graduate now, so, uh, yeah. It might not be as difficult as other countries, but, uh, college is college. I still graduated from it. So, yeah. Um, I don't mention as much as, as I think I do, but, no. Nah. Let's get this show on the rolls, shall we? So, uh, this year I played 11 games. Pizza Tower, Okami, Two Two Charts at the beginning of the year, uh, Crash 2, DMC of My Cry, uh, Team and T Shredder's Revenge, DMC 5, Panzer, pa Panzer Paladins, Yakuza Kiwami 2, No Stray Roads, and Street Fighter 6. Uh, these games are here specifically because these are the games that I've completed on stream. There are other games that I've played this year. I will also, if I if I should count every single game I've played without any like completion requirement, like um, like for like the new game modes on Fortnite, which I'm going to count as separate games by the way, like Lego Fortnite and uh, and Rocket Racing. Those two are separate game modes, so are practically separate games for me. Uh, then it's Marvel Snap, so if I have to count those two, this is going to get longer. But it's a possibility though. If I have to count every single game that I play just for Fonzies, uh, this list is longer. Hell, if I have to include the games that I've played off stream, yeah, I'm including Warframe here and I don't want to include Warframe here because that's unfair. <laughs> I've been playing that shit for like since I think 2017, so I've been playing that shit a long time, and I still love it, dude. I still love it to this day. Um, but yeah, I wanted to keep it consistent and just stick up with the uh, games that I completed, story mode completed on like either a hundred percent or just one run of the game, and that's it on stream. 
so these games are here. Um, the only one missing here would be Dark Sector, because Dark Sector is a game that I started this year, but I'm not going to finish it until 2024, because first stream of the year might, might as well be just me playing Dark Sector. So, yeah. That would be the first stream of the year. I also need to think out uh, how the fuck am I going to continue my show. I haven't reached out to anybody and... Oh, dude, time is running thin. Really thinly. Uh, but yeah. Um, I'll worry about that later. For now, let's get to the tier list. So, let me, let me grab my... Um, let me grab my Twitch channel by the neck and check my about page real quick. Uh, games completed this year. Okay. So, according to my list over here, uh, the first game... L let's do it in chronological order. The first game that I completed was on January 6th. Uh, it was 2-2 Two -Two Charles. This game, at, at first, you will think this is a horror game, but it isn't. It actually... Well, it kind of is. It, it is kind of terrifying how the NPCs never move their mouths when they, when they talk. But outside of that, yeah, it's it's just an exploration game. The exploration somewhat stealth game. And honestly, shooting the train with different weapons is fun. Like, shooting Charles with different, with different weapons is just... It's just fun. It's just dumb fun. Also, the fact that the train, you just need to push a few levers and the train goes and stops, it's just... It's just fun, because it lets you just shoot at the, at the, at the damn thing. Uh, let's see, but when it, comes to, when it comes to that, it doesn't pass the middle point. <laughs> like, it's just an average 6 out of 10 type of game. I... <laughs> I had fun! I'll give it that, I had fun. I uh, didn't get bored. I, I had fun for two hours, it's a short and sweet game, I like it, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it there, but it's a, it doesn't reach like really, really like emotional highs for me. Um, let me check, uh, what else, you, you don't minimize you, okay. Uh, 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 okay, next. DMC Devil May Cry. Speaking of emotional highs and lows, holy shit. Uh, DMC Devil May Cry. Um, DMC Devil May Cry, it's a complicated game. Because, uh, for one, it's an attempt to, to a reboot that, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, it just doesn't hit at all. Like, it hits on all the wrong ways. Dante is not Dante. Virgil is just a bitch. Cat is, I think, the only character that it's kind of fine in this game. And she's not even from the original timeline. It's like, she's the only original character from this game. Which is bullshit. But, you know, if this game didn't have the DMC, the DMC attached to it, like if it was another completely different title, completely different character names, it would be a super mid to low average game either way. Like... The gameplay, it's fine. Like, the gameplay, it's cool. I like the exploration and the different weapons you can get if you switch between demon and angel powers and stuff like that. But, dude, the story of this game is just not good. Like, my god, they... They... If, even if, if they were different characters, right? How... How am I not supposed to hate... Virgil, like I, at least on that point, yeah, they made me hurt Pete Virgil, but not in a way that oh shit, Virgil, uh, he just wants power. He just he just wants to kill everybody so, so he can get power. I mean, that's the basic story for Virgil. Like that, that's your basic Virgil. Well, this ver version of Virgil, he's just a bitch. Like yeah, backstabbing people. Uh, having a plan, a plan for war domination and stuff like that. That's not Virgil. That's your generic cartoon villain. It's not even a good cartoon villain. <laughs> it's just 
bullshit, dude. Oh, good lord. Uh, and Dante, well, pfft, dude, she's just a, he's just an, I don't know how to put it. Like, I don't know how to put it. It's just a kid. It's just a kid rolling around in sun to people just because. It's not a, it's not a quip machine as the Dante from the OG series. Uh, although comparing it to the OG is kind of unfair because this Dante is not, uh, nothing at all like that one. Like, it's not, it's not even fair. So, if I have to give it brownie points, if this was an original character, I wouldn't like it, but I wouldn't hate it. Like, if you didn't have the name Dante, and this wasn't a DMC, Devil May, the DMC game, like a Devil May Cry game, if this was just DMC and it's standalone for anything else but Devil May Cry, yeah, this Dante's not that bad. Like, He's not that bad. This dude is not that bad. The, the combat is fun from him, and yeah, even though some insults are very childish, I think it, it kind of fits here. Like, the, the, the insults this Dante do, this Dante does, is not as bad as the rest of the game is, so honestly, <laughs> you, could, you could say him and Cat are the best part of the game. But I wouldn't give it that much credit, honestly. But yeah, DMC goes here. Just because he it made me so fucking angry at some point that it's hilariously fun. It's hilariously funny how angry I got at that. At, at that one particular point that Virgil just becomes a bitch. It's just that. That's why it's, it's, not, it's not down here. It's just here. Just because of that. <laughs> at least it made me fail something. What's next? Um, let me check. Uh, can you open? Yes. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh shit! From one of the worst to one of the best. Uh, DMC five. Yeah. Easy, easy five. Easy, easiest tier. Well, it's 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 it's, just, it's DMC five. It's fun. The story is fun. The characters, every single one of them, are all super fun to play, and you get to play three of them on the story. Unlike DMC Devil May Cry, that is just one. Or the rest of the games, even. Like, except for DMC 4, DMC 1 to 3, including DMC Devil May Cry, are all about Dante. And you play only as Dante, except for maybe. Well, the special edition lets you play as Virgil, but Virgil is a separate campaign of. of Altogether in all the games except for DMC one, and DMC two has Lucia, which is a different different character. But you know what? Yeah, I'm going to count Lucia because it's a different it's a different character, it's a different side of the campaign. Same with Nero, same with um, yeah, same with Nero and DMC five in general. The DMC five cast is all in one campaign. That's the difference, and honestly, I appreciate that because that makes things kind of freshed up a little bit in between between stages. In some even you get to choose which one, which path you take, like you choose Dante, you go here, you choose Nero, you go here, and if you choose B, you go over here. And I kind of like that. I kind of I kind of love that. That is lost completely when you play as Virgil. But Virgil, holy shit, Virgil is super fun in this game. Holy Fuck. He might be the the most fun version of Virgil. If I have to rank up every single version of Virgil I've played so far, yeah, DMC5 is the best. DMC4 is the close second, and DMC3 is just there. <laughs> like, good lord. The speed, the amount of damage you can do, the combos get crazy, the teleporting, and of course the memes. Good lord, the memes. Yeah, nah, DMC5 is a great game. Absolutely recommend it. Holy shit, one of the best games Capcom has ever released in the last couple of years. What's next? What what was the next game I played? I mean, like, I truly curious. Uh, Panzer, oh, Panzer Paladins. Mega Man-like game. I don't feel too much about this game. Like. 
yeah, it's a fun game. It's a it's a it's a very challenging platformer, um, El Mega Man, and um, it's fun. Like I give it I give it that. It's fun. It's cool to see the different abilities for the weapons. Some of the custom weapons are actually really funny. And uh, yeah, you can get weapons from people online and stuff. Yeah, that's fun. The bosses are fun to play against too. It's it's an overall good time. It's not an it's not an A tier, but it's a uh, it's a pretty solid game. Just along Choo Choo Charles. Okay, what's next? Uh, Crash Bandicoot 2, okay. This one, I played it to 102%, and honestly, it's a fun game. I thought it would be shorter than I, the, it's, I thought it would be shorter, but it didn't end up being shorter, even being longer than Crash 1, which is a good thing. And 100% in Crash 2 was also the first time I was doing it, because... In the past, I've already played this game. Like, I already played Crash 2 on the PS1 originally, but I never managed to 100% complete it. The only one that I did that was on Crash 1, so I knew what I was doing when I was playing Crash 1. Now, with Crash 2, I managed to not only complete it 100%, but finally got to see the secret ending. Well, the secret 100% completion ending, which is so good. Like it feel it feels so good to finally see that ending by myself without looking at a well at a YouTube video or something like that. It feels good, man. It feels good. And Crash 2 is an awesome 3D platformer. It's an awesome platformer. It, it it's a classic. That's part of the reason why it got remastered. That's part of the reason why the Insane Trilogy is as good as it is. So absolutely recommend it. Go check, go check it out. Grab it if you can. Take advantage of the winter sales that gives you games for practically nothing. And if you see the Insane Trilogy, just go. Hey, Mitsu, how's it going? Hey, how's it going, Mitsu? It's been a minute. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, go play Crash 2, it's awesome. <laughs> hey. Ow. Games. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm going through the uh the, the list of games I've completed this year and so far so good. <laughs> I've played too much games this year on stream. And I'm not counting the ones that I played off stream. Like if I had to count all the hours I put on Risk of Rain 2. You will not see me again. <laughs> oh, well, you will see me here for four hours. Holy shit. <laughs> I played a lot of that game. And I absolutely love it. Oh, that reminds me. Mitsu, we need to play Risk of Raid Return someday. We need to. I have that game and I need to play with people. It's been so fun going through the challenges and the normal game modes. Yes, I know you have it. Let's do it someday. We need, we need to do it. We need to, we need to, we need to. We need to also grab Envy by the neck and grab it and put him in here. We also need to do that. <laughs> because I know that motherfucker have it. Because I know. <laughs> oh man, that's going to be fun. There is a lot I need to discover too. But yeah, um, going through the, the games I've completed this year on stream, if I have to count the ones that I have completed but off stream, yeah, this list is way longer. <laughs> because Risk of Rain 2 is one of those games. I've practically done everything on there. I still, I think, need to unlock a few items, but outside of that, I have all the characters and all the, I think I have all the abilities. No, I have all these skins. Yeah, I have all these skins. By completing, I think, on Monsoon difficulty? Yeah, that. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah. Uh, okay, so yeah, go play Crash 2. It's awesome. And while you're at it, play the Green Central. It's also, it's also really good. 
Uh, what's next? Oh shit, Street Fighter 6. Um, okay, hold on. Uh, there we go. Street Fighter 6. Hmm. I'm debating because the story mode, it's literally just a glorified tutorial for fighting games, which is a good thing. There is not too many modes that are like that, that give you an entertaining story while being a good tutorial for the actual main thing that is the actual fighting of the game. Um, mm, you know what? Yeah, I'll give it an S. Because Street Fighter VI, as much as I, I have complaints about the game in other areas, when it comes to World Tour, World Tour is a perfectly crafted thing. Like, the, wor the, the world you set in, it's actually really cool. You get to interact with awesome characters from the franchise that has been getting, like, representation since the, since the beginning. Like, the Street Fighter 2 cast, the newcomers are actually really awesome. Like, Lily, Marisa, Kimberly, Jamie, and Luke are all really cool people. And you get to explore Metro City for the first time in forever. Like... Metro City has been a thing since Final Fight, and you never get to, like, see it outside of stages. So this game mode giving you that liberty? Holy shit, that's awesome. Yeah, you can see how the world also interconnects with each other, how characters relate to each other. It's... it's really good. It's super good. Holy shit. No spoilers for me. You just go and play it. It's actually really cool. If you ignore the monetization problems this game has, of course. Uh, but yeah, outside of that, the game is awesome. Go play it. It's absolutely recommended. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, okay, the next one. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to make a grim boy a little bit. Uh... A little bit mad on this one, but yeah, Okami's kind of mid. The thing with Okami is... Um, the game is actually fun. You no, know? it's actually really fun. But the game, it's, it, go, it drags on for me. I don't know why, but the game, after a certain point, you think it will end, but no, it keeps dragging on, and it does that twice on the same game. It's actually insane. Um, that doesn't make it a bad game, because the story is also, is also really cool. Like, I'm not going to spoil it, but the story and the world building is insanely good. It's, a, it's, an, it's an old Capcom hidden gem type of insanely good. So, yeah... For that, for that regard, Okami is not bad at all. In fact, he's not. He goes here. It actually goes there. <laughs> it doesn't go on mid. It go. It goes a little bit on A. I still prefer Crash 2 over it though. But hey, I'll give it. I'll give it. I give credit what credit is due. It's a really good game, and it's a really fun time. So yeah, it might be also an offer on Winter Sale. So if you can grab it, go for it. It's, it's an it's an awesome time. Um, what else? Hmm. A wild out. Um. TMNT Shredder's Revenge. Uh, uh. I actually cheated a little bit on this one because I didn't a hundred percent complete it. It's a beat em up. So. The thing with this game is that it has multiple endings. A, an ending for each and every single character, right? So what I did here, the only thing I did is was just reach from level 1 to the last level with only Mikey? And I got Mikey's ending. So I technically just did that once when I actually need to do it at least I don't know, 3 with the other 3 turtles. I think I need to do it at least eight more times because there is like eight characters right now, if I'm not mistaking. 
So yeah, this game it still counts because I I I I, I played it from the beginning to the end as a story mode, so it kind of counts. So it's here. The gameplay is fun. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. The, the game is actually really fun. The gameplay is fun. The the um, difference between characters is very noticeable. You can do a lot of a lot of bullshit with every single character. It's actually super fun. And it has a lot of other cool game modes, like a survival mode. Now it has a the now it has a dimensional hopper type of game mode, which is really cool. It, 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 it is a fun time. It is a super fun time. Okay, what's next? Ooh, uh, pizza Tower. Another... Wow, another A tier. Uh, this, I think, outside of Street Fighter 6 is... I think the last game that I released in this year that I had the opportunity to play on this year. And yeah, the 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 amount of people that praise the living fuck out of this game, yeah, it's deserved. It's deserved. This, this game is fun. This game is holy shit, super fun. Like, if I ever wanted to play a classic Sonic game, no, wait, not a, not a classic Sonic, a classic WarioWare game that released on every single platform possible, yeah, I will pick up this game because. This game is insanely fun when you grab the hold of it. Like, if you manage to practice and the controls enough to just master the to just master the level to get S rank, you know you did something really good. Because once you get to a to the finish line on a level, once you re you just go back everything and just do it on a way that is just that it just flows together everything yeah this game can feel super good oh my god whoo but yeah uh, t but getting to that point is a pain <laughs> getting to that point is a pain but hey it's worth the practice it's super worth the practice that's why it's on A tier um let's see uh, next one, no stray roads. Uh, yeah, this is an S tier. <laughs> the the reason why this one is an S tier is because, well, the game itself is fun. The story is actually really, it's actually really good. It's uh, super good. The story, the story is simple but effective. If that makes any sense. Uh. I don't want to spoil it or say anything. I just say go play it. It's an awesome adventure of just a boy and a girl on a band trying to get the power of rock to rise again. And honestly, holy shit, they play they play around with the them with the thematic of music really well. Different factions for different types of ADM. Ooh, ooh, boy, and that final boss. That final boss, holy shit. Yeah, nah, this is a 10 out of 10 game. Holy shit. Um, and the last one, Yakuza Kiwami 2. Uh, yeah, the second one, on the third one technically on the, uh, on the Yakuza series for the chronological order. This game is massive, and it's actually super fun. I've been playing this game after I finished the story mode on stream so I can finish everything. I tried to play the old, the other story it has because it has like two uh, two stories. The main story and the Majima Saga story. The Majima Saga is a continuation of Yakuza 0. So yeah, I wanted to play that on stream, but yeah, it was impossible. So, uh, as for the main story goes, yeah, it's, it's really good. A lot of like uh, plot twists and turns, yeah, the good stuff. It's an also very emotional travel for Kiryu, so yeah. I can't wait to play Yakuza 3 on stream, that's going to be hell. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm not looking forward to playing Yakuza 3. <laughs> 
because I want to keep up and play all the series on stream if possible. And Yakuza 3 is the one that is the most clunky out of them all. And holy shit, that's going to hurt a lot. Uh... But yeah, that's the tier list. I knew I wasn't using D tier. I knew it. But yeah, most of the games I played on this year were super good. Like, holy hell. Hell, I wouldn't even... If I had to order this in, like, uh, from left to right, which is the best to the worst of that category, I think the, the order will be like this. For A tier will be uh, like this. For B tier is like this, and C tier is just DMC, Devil May Cry tier. I don't, I don't want to hate on this game in particular too much because it would be unfair since I actually had I, somewhat fun with it, you know? It made me face mental, meltingly angry at some points, but at least it's not DMC2 levels of hating, you know? DMC2, that's the game that deserves its own category because that game fails on the most important part of the game which is at least making you feel something making you angry making you happy making you sad everything counts at as a, as a game for me like if a game makes you feel any emotions it's because it's entertaining you in one way shape or form it's entertaining you in the fact that you are hating the game. It's entertaining you because you are laughing at the game or for the game. It's entertaining you if you are tearing up at the story or the music of a game. It actually makes you feel something. If a game doesn't make you feel anything, then what's the point? What's the why why does this exist as a mo as a medium of entertainment? You know what I mean? So, yeah, all of these games passed that with flying colors, including DMC Devil May Cry, because it made me super angry at some points, but at least I had a good laugh at it. <laughs> uh, same with all of these games. It might be minor, but at least it did it. Oh, yeah. That's the tier list. I might post it on Twitter later. Um... Yeah, it's been just half an hour. It's been, it hasn't been that bad. Um, let me check something really quick. I'm not going to raid just yet because it's just been 30 minutes. And I wanted to do that as the, at the beginning of the year. Just as the, uh, for shits and giggles. Okay, uh, let me save this tier list before I forget. Okay, and I can crop it later on Twitter. Cool. Okay, I have the thumbnail for, uh, for the thing later. Hell yeah. And now... What do... What do... Hmm... 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 I could keep playing Dark Sector to like end the year and bookend it like that, or I could play online games for a little bit. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Hey, uh, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Damn it! I don't want to play, but I also want to play if uh, there is people for it. But you know what? Nah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play Marvel Snap for a little bit. Why not? Let me check.
I'm gonna play Marvel Snap for a little bit. Alright, I'll be I'll be right back while I set up everything. And go to the bathroom and hydrate a little. Beer bee! <laughs> 